Hi there, Z here, and uh, yes, another commentary video. Uh, for those of you who are new to this, pretty much I, I, I do commentary videos for one of two reasons, pretty much. it's uh, One reason is when something's really like ir just irking me and I need like, a, a therapeutic release. I need to talk to somebody. My parents said, no, stop stop contacting us. We're trying to forget you were even you even existed. And my girlfriend's just like, I I've had a long day. Just please, I'm trying to forget you even existed. So I have to turn to you people, my friends on the internet. And uh, the other reason is uh, I haven't come out with any content and I need something quick fast and in a hurry to do. And this time it's both of them. I know that I haven't come out with anything recently. I've been working on one thing and full disclosure, this shit got corrupted. So I had to do the whole thing over again. I had to re-record. I had to, the, 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 the game footage was still fine from before. Uh, but then I had to download a bunch of the shit already. It, there was a ton of shit that, that, that just got lost. So I thought, <laughs> I'm one of those people where the, I have the work ethic of fuck it. You know what? I this thing got God must not want me to make this video, so I just gotta not make it. But when I usually think of a video to make, I'm I'm pretty much in it for the long haul. And there was something that was really bothering me here recently, and it's going to sound very scummy at the very beginning. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. When people are gonna hear this, they're gonna be like, "Oh, come on, dude! You only have like 120 subscribers. Don't do this." But it's just it's it's not what you think. Um. The the word shill is gonna be said a lot throughout this 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 little uh, commentary video, because there's a those of you who know me for a while they know that I love finding small YouTubers, just small YouTubers, and I'm like there's something special about this guy. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to to favorite his video and just see how far he goes. Um, and I love doing that. And then there's always like a, a, a there's always like a plateau that's that happens. There's always something that happens where a small YouTuber pulls up his big boy britches, takes the tampon out, and he's like, "Guys, I realize a lot of people like me. I'm at five thousand subscribers, so I'm going to do." I'm going to start, you know, turning on uh, ads. I'm going to start uh, doing a Patreon um, because if I if I could get anything to make me buy a better microphone, maybe get something around here like a green screen or something like that to help to help increase my, my the quality of my video. And let's be fair, guys. Some some of the times it's not just that. Some of the times it's like, dude, a, a, a man's got to eat or a woman's got to eat, whatever. I don't discriminate in this channel. I do a little bit, but it's okay. Um, but it's... <laughs> It's one of those type of things where they're just like, I just, I just, uh, some money would be nice. Now, it's not necessary. It's not needed for me to go on. There's not a paywall right here. And again, this is where you guys are going to be like, oh, Zach, are you going to be doing Patreon and initiating ads? And no, no, I'm, I'm only at 120 subscribers and I find it, I find it pretty unnecessary to put anything on here. I, but I want to put this out there right now. I will be doing stuff like that in the future. Now, she'll... I mean, a, a person who shills out for absolutely anything, I can understand that, okay? Oh, man, this condom's so great. It feels so good to put it on. Zach, that condom's made out of aluminum. Don't worry about what it's made out of. It feels so good against your skin. You can barely feel it bleeding. Yeah, I know that some people say whatever they can to get paid. That's not the person that I'm going to try to be. Um, it's going to be one of those type of things where I'll turn on ads and I'll put a Patreon, and that's pretty much all that it will go by. Because I don't expect me to blow up. I know I've been getting a lot of a lot of nice comments that I don't really deserve. Let's be fair. Um, my 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 content is not super great, and this isn't me groveling for. Please put positive comments down below. You can put a shitty comment if you want. I thrive on them, but I know that I'm not Angry Joe. I know that I'm not Nostalgia Critic. I'm going for a lot of channel awesome people, but that's kind of those are the people that I watched a lot of. But John Tron, there we go. I, I'm not any of these huge YouTubers, and I don't think I ever will be. If I can make this a hobby and then maybe get a little money on the side because alcohol ain't cheap, um, then I would be a happy man, to be fair. But you always get these people, this this opposition, and I'm gonna be honest, it's not a huge opposition. Like, let's say a guy has 5,000 subscribers, and he constantly gets, oh, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000 subscribers, and then he says, I'm gonna start doing this. If you feel like paying me, that's fine. If not, that's cool as well. You know, he's, he's very he's very polite about it, and then there's always just like 13% of the comments down bottom, what a fucking shill. What a fuck, I thought you were different, you fucking shill. It's like, I'm sorry, is this a socialist province where we're just going to 
give up all money? If you have something that is that that people like, if you have a precedent, a uh, a uh, 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 talent that people like seeing, don't you think you should be paid for it? Now again, you should do this for a hobby. I I I think YouTube, you should do this 100% as a hobby. Because if you go into this thinking I'm gonna be raking up the PewDiePie money, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy you know 15 houses and shit, you're going to be sorely disappointed very very quickly. Hold on one second. Mm. Whiskey sure does calm me down. You're not going to get far. I'm doing this because, honestly, when I've come home, like, I I, I, I didn't graduate. I graduated from high school. I went to college, and um, I went through, like, three different majors, and just it, nothing felt right to me. Um, I, went, I went to be a, a, a nurse. I realized you have to be pretty fucking smart to be a nurse, so all you nurses out there... Cheers to that. Holy fucking shit. And, and why not go to every single one that I failed on? Uh, nursing, um, architecture, and um, computer programming. Apparently, you need to be very left brain. You need to be very, very intelligent to do any of that. So anybody who goes through anything like that, uh, cheers. Cheers, man. I just, I got through my basics. I got straight C's and B's. I mean, I'm, I'm not really a huge class kind of person. I never have been. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, I, I went through a lot of stuff that I just failed at. And I, I, I gotta give myself a little bit of a pat on the back, just a little bit, just to try to go through that. Anybody who wants to go through college, give it a try at first. You may be, you may be able to go through the basics, and you'll be that much more knowledgeable, and knowledge is really great to, a really great thing to have. But if college isn't your thing, it's not your thing. It wasn't mine. And it's still not. I, I've always been a very right brain person. I, I was in. I, I, I write creative stories on my downtime when I had downtime before I had a stream and a YouTube and a full time job. But I wrote like two full, two or three full stories and uh, a bunch of short stories, like a little fan fiction stuff. And then I was also in plays, both in high school, college, and uh, like a downtown community one uh, when I was less busy. And I'm a very right brain person. That's why I wanted to do YouTube. I want to be entertaining. That's what I've always wanted to do. And then I realized to be a successful actor, I would have to go away from where I live. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I, I like my family too much. I like my family too much. And I like the Midwest too much. I don't, I don't want to go to the big cities. And I don't, I don't want to play that game. I don't. And, and this is kind of bringing me all back. This would be an, like when people say scream shell, 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 because somebody wants to sit home and do something creative. I don't think that's fair at all. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to do it as well. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to be 100% shell where as long as you give me money, I'll say whatever you want. I'll be your dancing monkey. I'll shove dildos down my mouth or whatever it takes to get me money. I won't do that because I have a little thing called, um, called um, pride. But uh, for the people who want to just, just a request, not requesting money, but just saying, look, there's a pot here. You go ahead and throw money in that pot if you want. I'll keep dancing no matter what. You know, I'll, 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 keep, I'll keep doing the hello, my baby, hello, my honey. I'll do that no matter what. But there's a little pot here. If you want to give me money, you're free to. I'm going to keep dancing no matter if there's two cents in that or $1,500 in that pot. I'm going to keep doing my thing. But the more money in that pot the more the, the the better the production will be and hell if it com it becomes good enough it might you might get more videos and stuff like that cuz a lot of people have made this their their hobby not made their hobby their job and a lot of people quit their jobs and just do strictly youtube now with i would i do that i just i i'm i'm a very paranoid person i always want a constant source of income because, especially with like the adpocalypse and a lot of people who say fuck and make rape jokes and uh, all the other stuff that some people might do, they will get completely canceled off of that uh, ad program. And that's when, you know, Patreon and everything else works. But uh, that's why I'm kind of saying I'm not going to 100% do this. I, I, I won't. But if I do do it, just don't be surprised in the future. And also don't be surprised if YouTube takes one look at any of my videos and be like, hmm, look at this bearded, <laughs> reaching 30 age, you know, this guy has to be like 50 years old. Look at that beard. Look at those eyes. There's something about him and his rape jokes. 
that we don't want. And I'm pretty sure Disney doesn't want me <laughs> to, to represent one of their, their upcoming videos about a princess falling in love and then finding out that the princess and all he's made up to be or whatever. Um, but um, the, the basis of what this whole thing is, is if you're one of those people, just, just kind of think about how it would be. These, these people, most of the time, I would imagine, have at least a part-time or a full-time job. Maybe they're full-time students and their parents pay for everything. Eh, that wasn't me, but I guess if you have rich parents, I wouldn't complain either. But these people are putting a lot of time into these videos. Most of the time. There's, there's, always, like a, there's always like a caveat, a little, a little star next to it. And then you have to read all the way down to the bottom of the page and saying, Oh, these people work hard equals some people don't work that hard. Some people just are the shittiest people and they make compilation videos and, and they're dark side fills of the fucking internet and they don't do anything to make anything interesting. I don't think I'm like that. I'm not as good as, like I mentioned, John Tron, Nostalgia Critic, Angry Joe, but I do put a lot of time into these videos and I'm really glad that everybody is liking them. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit serious here. You guys are great. The people who do show up, stay, watch throughout the entire thing and say, this is really interesting. This is really funny. I actually enjoy this because you have no idea what it feels like for a man with like, let's be fair, all YouTubers have a little bit of ego to them. Just, just, just a little bit of ego to them. And anybody with any sort of ego, when they hear that their time and effort has been, you know, vilified, not vilified, wow. When their time and effort has been has been noted and and people are liking it, it it does feel good. I, I play an asshole a lot, and to be honest, I am one of them because I really I I couldn't give a fuck what a lot of people say, but it is really nice to hear that people like my stuff. If I if if you guys say that you even if you smirked at some of my videos, that is about the best I can do, because I I know that my my audio shit. My acting is, is is my acting is up in the air for some people, but I really do appreciate everything. And this uh, this little drink I have right here, this to you guys, this to you guys and your kind words and your subs and your likes and dislikes. Even I'm not I'm not immune to dislikes or bad comments if they're you know if they build something. Not why the fuck does your gameplay have such low sensitivity to it? That's what you got from the entire review. You, you got, you got. Oh, your sensitivity is too high. Well, I like my sensitivity high. Have you ever played a first-person shooter in your entire life? Okay. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore this guy because that's not constructive at all. That is destructive. And as soon as everything has been destructed, they, they fuck the ground that it was buried on. That's, that's what that is. But I'm gonna start rambling here. Anybody who knows me knows I'll start rambling. The, the new review is gonna be out next week, very, very soon. Um, I was going to do it tonight, but man, I just, going back to, to re-recording everything, it just felt so depressive. But, uh, hopefully you guys will understand my bad work ethic, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the next review. If not, I hope you guys will enjoy the future reviews. If not, I hope you guys at least enjoyed this movie, movie, this video, before you unsubscribe. So, cheers.